Good morning to all of you. Welcome to Legal Matters by Sai Babu Sankara. <coughs> Yesterday, we have seen in live law an item of sending the district judge for judicial academy for upgradation of skill or for training. Why? Because he has not followed the guidelines given in the very famous case, Sintil Kumar, that is uh, Satendra Kumar versus CBI, 2022. We all say at the outset, bail is a right and jail is an exception. This is V.R. Krishnaya's court. And I think uh, about 10 months back or so, this uh, Satinder Kumar until case has come where clear-cut directions were given for bail. Normally, in that case, Satinder Kumar case, the magistrate or the judge was under the impression that before filing the charge sheet, that is 170 stage, 170 CRPC, and once the investigation is completed, normally they have to inform the <coughs> reported to the court. So, uh, completion of investigation means arrest of the accused should be there. So, normally there will be columns. Of course, as a retired police officer, I know. Whenever you are going to issue the charge sheet or the final report, the charge sheet will have the so-called sheet, which is uh, stating that, uh, what is the name of the complaint? How many accused are there? Important part. Whether the accused have been arrested or not, that one column will be there. We will say sometimes not arrested, then they will give warrant. Not arrested because of 41A, they will not do anything. Like that, we will write. So here, the magistrate was under the impression that the person should be arrested. Normally, we will get the remark. Whether the accused was arrested or not, we will write the reply and they will understand. But here, in the Satinder Kumar case, magistrate insisted for the arrest of the case, given on by the warrant. All these things have happened and therefore, the Honorable Supreme Court of India clearly gave directions that uh, after 170, arrest is not mandatory. When the person is not arrested, why should you go for non-bailable warrant? Think of the Bail Act like other countries, so, so many directions they have given and you know, according to Article 142 of the Constitution of India, the guidelines or the decrees or the orders of the Supreme Court of India, they have to follow because Supreme Court is the court of record. Is it not? You have to agree. Now, coming to this particular case. So, <clears throat> before the bench of Honorable Justice, Justice Sanjay Kishan Kaul and uh, Ahnasuddin, sir, yeah, Ahnasuddin Amanullah. Okay, Justice Amanullah. So, the MKS Curie in this particular Satinder case, Sati is the Siddharth Lutra, very famous advocate. He has identified that a judge of Sessions Court in Lucknow, he is not following the guidelines regarding the bails, particularly like that of the so called Satinder Kumar until case. Therefore, when the matter was given, taken to the notice of the Honorable Supreme Court of India, they have requested the Allahabad High Court to do needful for sending the judge to the Judicial Academy so that he can know the judgments of the Honorable Supreme Court of India relating to the bail, particularly when the person is not arrested. Anticipatory bail when the person is not arrested. Anticipatory bail or bail when the after a charge sheet is the investigation is completed, but the person not arrested. So like that, better to know. So let him upgrade his skill by going to the judicial academy. It is one way punishment I can say. But anyway, it's because it's Supreme Court, they will not say like that. Very stylishly they said that uh, better to send him to judicial academy for upgradation of his skill. So Allahabad High Court will do the needful with respect to this. So Supreme Court lamented that. Even after 10 months of Satyendra Kumar judgment, the district judiciary, we don't know the lower rank, district judiciary, they are not complying with the directions issued by the Supreme Court of India. 
large number of illegal custody are coming up in uttar pradesh and states like that see now what happened let us see because lastly because it's already the five minutes the sessions judge of lucknow rejected an anticipatory bail right in which the accused was not arrested so far and the charge sheet was filed investigation completed charge sheet was filed only thing is accused is not arrested just like satyendra kumar until case judge noted <clears throat> judge has noted ample safeguards in the situation were already given to the appellant so no ground exists for anticipatory bail what more is needed this is the major problem so please remember the supreme court guidelines when a person is not arrested when the investigation is completed regarding the bail act all these things are there in the sintil uh, the so called uh, <coughs> satyendra kumar until case satyendra kumar until case was a i think in from noida he was a provident fund officer a case of corruption section 7 of the prevention of corruption act was uh, registered against him the cbi investigated the case the cbi filed the charge sheet but they did not arrest him because he was cooperating with the investigation why should they arrest him this is the problem magistrate asked you arrest him so the entire trouble came i am repeating the entire thing with the mal tirige chevatu avutundi kabatti with this i am concluding thank you very much